Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Raka Kwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures. You know, Lord willing, go into a quick article with you, Aki Amenak Wath, pretty much going into uh, the judgments of the Lord, man. <laughs> the judgments of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Visiting the wicked with evil. You see, in this case, the teeth of wild beasts. And this article I got from the beloved brother uh, in the camp uh, via the chat. And it's going into some heavy judgment, man. A couple received. A couple over in, uh, I believe it was India. This is fresh off the press. It's from, uh, from today, a matter of fact. You see? <laughs> the just Lord. Is in the mist, man. And he's making it happen. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, uh, uh, diddly dallying, man. <laughs> Still not uh, paying attention to what times you're living in, thinking that things are gonna go back to normal or things are gonna uh, take a turn for the for for the best. No. You are gonna be visited. We're evil if you don't clean yourself up, man. Now, these judgments should scare you, man. These judgments should scare you. Because as we know, all issues are death of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So no matter how gruesome, <laughs> bloody or gory uh, uh, one's death is, it was signed off by the king of terrors, man. You see? So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, I want to grab this preset before I grab that article. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 39 and verse 28. And it reads, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. And this is not just limited to, to people, man. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai can put a spirit uh, on a wild beast, man, on a dog, man, and make him devour you, man. He's the father of spirits, man. See? Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. And of course, it's Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai that made them, man. The father of spirits. Let's go to this article real quick. Salakia. I'm going to have to jump over this way. Uh, it's right here. Now, this is from CBS News. Um, and again, it's fresh off the press. It's from today, June 10th, uh, 2022. Uh, and it reads, Sloth bear kills and eats couple in very unusual attack, man. You see? <laughs> you see? This is why we are the fear Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set up this scenario for this couple to be attacked and devoured by this sloth bear, man. Let's get a little bit of this article. New day he, a sloth bear mauled a couple to death in a forest in central India's Madhya uh, Pradesh state last weekend. Okay, so what happened last weekend? And then spent hours eating their remains in a gruesome attack that wildlife conservationists say was unusual for the species, man. You see? While sloth bear attacks on people are relatively common, they are not generally known to feed on human flesh. That's cold. This was the this was a judgment by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And these are the times we're coming in, man. 
Scripture says that uh, the, 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 the uh, 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 newly created creatures are going to be on the scene, man. <laughs> be, the uh, beasts are going to, they're going to change their place, man. You see, when, when these blockouts hit, man, all oh, hell is going to break out loose, man. This is when those newly created uh, 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 creatures, man, are going to come out, man. And start devouring you, you people, man. This is one. This is one of the great miseries that are coming upon this planet Earth. See, you people are gonna be mad head on, man. Hey, y'all know what he, uh, what Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai did to Egypt. <laughs> he had apparitions, uh, 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 scaring people to death when he brought doctors upon Egypt. So, with this being a uh, uh, spiritually side of in Egypt, you can only imagine. What Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has in store for this place, man. Daniel 12 and 1 says it's gonna be like no time since there ever was a, a, a kingdom, man. <sighs> but why do Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for allowing us to dwell in your courts? Lord willing, you know, we're defended, man. Cause it's about to get ugly out here, man. The attack took place on Sunday when a man and his wife we're returning home from t from a temple visit early in the morning, worshiping idols. Yeah, where 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 was uh uh, uh what Allah? Where was Allah at, man? Allah couldn't defend y'all from that sloth bear, man. And it says uh from a temple visit early in the morning. What's that? Uh 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 uh, uh Zephaniah. What's that? Zephaniah three and five. Let's get that real quick. Lord willing, I'm gonna put this article in the uh you know what let me finish this up and I'm gonna get the I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um get Zephaniah 3. The attack took place on Sunday when a man and his wife were returning home from a temple visit early in the morning. The sloth bear first attacked the woman as the couple walked through the Panna National Park forest, killing her out of there. Her husband was killed. When he tried to rescue his wife, he tried to be a hero and the sloth bear took him out too. You see, there was a spirit on this bear, man. And a bear's a ferocious beast. How you going to defend a bear unless you got a gun on you? You got to have a gun on you to, 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 to try to, uh, I don't care how small that bear is, man. That's a wild beast, man. And Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai put the spirit on him to devour, man. <sighs> Cold. Let's get that Zephaniah. What is that? Zephaniah 3? Bear with me. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, and verse 5, and it reads, The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light. You see that? And this event took place in the morning. <laughs> That's the spirit. Every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not. You see that? And he didn't fail this day, man. He faileth not, but he never would fail. As we read in, he faileth not. You see, so look, dude, when we hear about cases where people are uh, uh, escaping by the skin of their teeth, you see, they escape with uh, 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 with wounds, but they live to see another day. It was because Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai uh, ordained them to live, man. He wounded them. What scripture say? What's that? Deuteronomy 32, I wound and I heal. See, <laughs> I kill. There's none I can do. We're going to have to get that real quick. He bring his judgment to light. He faileth not. But the unjust knoweth no shame, right? You know, unjust knoweth no shame, man. Huh? Let's get this Deuteronomy real quick. Bear with me.
the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 39, it reads, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. Right? There's only Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. There's no other powers, man. Allah ain't real. Buddha's not real. Okay? The 2,000 Egyptian Kemet gods aren't real. Those are all idols, man. And they're going to be destroyed upon the return of our Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? There's only one true living power, and it's Yahweh. Okay? Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, who you people ignorantly call God. Okay? Bahashem, Bahashem means in the name Yahweh Shai. Is who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers. Yah means he. Yahweh Shai means deliverer, man. Okay? <laughs> There's no other power, man. There's no other power. I kill and I make alive. So it's Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai that killed them, man. You see? I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. There's no escape. If your if your days are numbered, if it's your if it's your if your if your if your cards being uh 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 <laughs> if it's your if it's your time to go, you out of there. You see, if the Lord pulls your card, you're through, and He can visit you with all types of different miseries and and, and, and gruesome ways, man. That's why scripture says, we, we say it often, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. And if you look up that word hands in the blue letter, it goes into one that controls a man's destiny, man. <laughs> you see? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not playing. <laughs> And it's not the first time he used bears to kill people, man. Uh, this it reminds me of the story with uh, uh, the account with uh, 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 Elisha, man. After Elijah had been uh, translated, you know, Elisha was going through. I believe he was going through what Bethel. Matter of fact, let me grab that account real quick. When them kids were being them kids were being wicked, you know, calling them bald head. Let me see where is that Second Kings. We got to get that account real quick. The book of 2 Kings, the second chapter. Yeah, here it is. I'll get straight to the point. And uh, let me see. Verse 23. And he went up from thence. Now, mind you, uh, uh, Elisha was, he was, he was, he was chaffed in the mind, man. You know, he had just seen, you know, uh, Elijah be beamed up. You know, he, you know, he didn't want him to go. You know, he, he the scripture says that, you know, he, he tore his garment. You know what I mean? Zah. He, he didn't want him to go, man. It, it hurt him to see him, to see him have to go. You know, so he was, he was chaffed in the mind, man. He was vexed. All right. Uh, so let me just get to the point. And he went up, the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 23, and it reads, And he went up from thence unto Bethel, and as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city, and mocked him, and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. And he turned back and looked on them, and cursed them in the name of of Yahweh. You see that says Lord in capitals. That's Yahweh. You see that? And the phone chimed in. Okay? And there came forth two she bears out of the wood and tear 40 and two children of them, man. These two bears destroyed 42 children, sent them back to the spiritual world. And you who ordained that? Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see that? <laughs> That's cold blooded, man. Also, going into Yahweh, there's no uh, uh, respect to persons, man. Once again, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is not playing around. 
you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that think this thing's a game. When that judgment's on your ass, when that when these prophecies start walking you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans down first and foremost, you're gonna wish you turned back when you had a chance. You see? You're gonna wish you didn't buck up, pull away at the shoulder, and, and think you had it all figured out. You're gonna be ashamed, man. You're going to be ashamed when that judgment is on your ass, man. You see? Let me get this in. Uh, let me go to uh, Sirac real quick. The book of Ecclesiasticus. Also known as the book of Sirach. Chapter 39. Let me see. Yep, here it is. I'm going to start at verse 29. And it reads, Fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created. Salakia. Let me start up. Actually, that's where I started. Yeah, let me continue here because we read that already. Verse 28. Fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. You see that? Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. You see? So we know that couple that got mauled and devoured by those uh, sloth bears, they were wicked, man. <laughs> we read that they had just came back from the temple worshiping the idol. You see? <laughs> yeah, how about Shimmy How Shot ordained that, man? And the phone chimed in again. You see? <laughs> and the phone chimed in again. You don't think Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is playing around, man? Let me continue on. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Whose commandment? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's uh, commandment, man. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time is come. They shall not transgress his word. You see? Let me make another point. Proving that it's Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Quoted it earlier. But let's just get it. Prove all things, man. Let's just get it. Ah, uh, Salaki. I think I know where it's at, but I may be wrong. Bear with me. There it is, Psalm 68. I was thinking Isaiah. The book of Psalms, chapter 68, and verse 20, and it reads, He that is our power, whose power? Yasha Allah. He's the God of Israel, man. He's the God of Israel, okay? He that is our power is the power of salvation, right? Because salvation is only coming to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and speckled birds. That may look like the other nations, but their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Only in, in, out of that, they lack the chosen, okay, the remnant of the chosen nation. What's that? Galatians 6 and uh, 16, the God of Israel. See? <laughs> That's it. That walk according to this rule, the rule of these scriptures, man, that have turned back and repented and, 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 and served Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and, and truth, man. Okay, in spirit and in truth. Okay? And unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord belong the issues from death, you see? So all these grievous, gruesome, non mercy uh, 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 deaths that are going forth on the planet Earth, guess what? Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai ordained it, man. You see, matter of fact, let me get this word issues real quick in the blue letter. I'm just curious. Let's get that in Psalm 68. Salakia. So I'm just curious here. I've never looked this word up. In that precept, Psalm 68. But the Spirit's telling me to look it up real quick. Let me see this. Oh, 
Kahala-Yahawabashim-Yahawashai. Strong's H, 8444. Totsa Oath. Totsa Oath. All right, let's go. Uh, goings out. Ooh, outgoings. Okay, outgoing. Border, are going out. Extremity, end, source. Escape. Man, those that escape. Hey, Yahawabashim, Yahawashai, or damned it. So all issues, so all outgoing, all goings out of uh, 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 of death, man. So, uh, so all the death that's going out, see? Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, ordained it, man. You see that? Look at that. Source of life, escape from death. That's cold, man. That's why it's a fearful thing. You see? That's not written for nothing. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. This ain't a game. This is not a game. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is, again, once again, not playing around. When these blackouts hit, this, this is when uh, the the, uh, the newly created creatures are going to be coming out, man. <laughs> this is when this Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai has this all planned out, man. It's going down out here. The Lord's word's going to go forth. You people are not ready for what's coming. Matter of fact, there was a, um, a sighting uh, a mysterious uh, sighting or whatever at a zoo. Uh, who did I see that? Uh, was it Dabu? Let me see if I can find this real quick. Bear with me. Was it Dabu? I seen it not too long, very uh, recently. Yeah, it is. Khan, let's watch this real quick. Let me show y'all uh, some if y'all haven't already seen it. This is Dabu 7 with a wild story here out of Amarillo, Texas. The zoo in Amarillo releasing this intriguing photo that's going to have a lot of people scratching their heads. Now they're saying that at 1.25 a.m. on May 21st, the city of Amarillo detailed that security cameras inside a perimeter fence at the zoo captured this strange image of what appears to be an unknown animal or entity. They have dubbed this the unidentified Amarillo object. And they're asking the community for their opinions on what this might be. Now, they go on to state that it's important to note that the entity was outside of the zoo. So it was just outside of the perimeter gate. There was no signs of attempted entry into the zoo. No animals or individuals were harmed. No signs of criminal activity or vandalism as well. Right at the gate. Many want to equate this to a werewolf or something in that ballpark. And really, I think it's just going to have people taking guesses left and right. And who's going to prove another right or wrong? This is truly one of them big mysteries, unless someone can solve it. So while we're putting this information out there, the city of Amarillo stating that you can contact them if you have information. That'd be in the link that I leave below. But yeah, this unknown entity outside of the zoo caught on camera. What is it? Make sure to join me on the live streams where I discuss this further. Censorship free. You'll find links below and hit that bell notification for more videos. You see that? <laughs> see, they don't know what the, they don't know. They don't know what's going on. They don't got a clue. You see, because they, they don't got Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. They don't got the unction. So they don't know all things. See, we know that Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to create newly created beasts, man. See, we know that the beasts are going to change their places in the days to come. To devour you wicked people, man. This is part of the great miseries that are coming, man. And like we read in Sirach 39, 29, they're not going to transgress his word, man. When he lets them open up on y'all, they're not going to transgress his word. Matter of fact, let me close out here. Let's go. Uh, bear with me.
Let me go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11. And I'm going to start at verse 17 and it reads, For thy almighty Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, that made the world of matter without form, wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears. There's that bears again, or fierce lions. See, bears and lions, them are some ferocious beasts, man. Them are the type of beasts, once they on your eye, it, oh, you have to shoot it, man. Stabbing it won't even work. You have to shoot that mug. Those are the fer those are ferocious animals, man. <laughs> you see? And this is Yahweh Bashim is gonna use them to open up on you people, man. Right, let's continue on. Or unknown. Imagine all these animals in these zoos, man, when the blockouts hit. <laughs> these zoos are gonna be, man, all them wild animals in them zoos, man, they're gonna get out them zoos, man. <laughs> Continuing on, Sirach, uh, Salakia, Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 19, 11 and 18, Salakia, or unknown, uh, or unknown, okay, wild beasts, unknown, let me, let me get, or unknown wild beasts, you see, newly created, newly created, so there's newly created wild beasts just waiting for their moment, man. They're waiting for their moment. They're waiting for Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai to give them the word. And they're not going to transgress his word when they're given the go, man. Breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scent of scattered smoke. Or shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes, man. <laughs> this is what's coming to you people, man. Let's get a little more. Whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once, but also the terrible sight utterly destroy them. You see, so just the sight of them will make you give up the ghost, man. <laughs> Between the apparitions and, 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 these, and these newly created uh, beasts, man, you people are out of here. But guess what? Those of the elect, <laughs> you see, those of the remnant are going to be delivered out of these things. You see? Matter of fact, <laughs> they're going to know that uh, uh, those are of the elect are uh, uh, of the elect, man. Why? Because the elect is going to have that the wah on them, man. Spoken of in Ezekiel. The um, Let me close out there through the spirit. <laughs> let me close out there through the spirit. The book of Ezekiel. Bear with me. The ninth chapter. I'm going to go straight to the point. In verse 4, and it reads, And the Lord said unto them, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Remember, Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. Jerusalem consisting of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? And, 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 and the uh, Israelite foreigners, man. Okay? And set a mark. That mark is the Dawa, the mark of exemption. Upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And, 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 and only the remnant, okay, is going to be doing that. Only the remnant is going to be sighing and crying. Turning back to the Holy One of Israel in, in, in spirit and in truth. You see? It's going to be a clear separation. And we can see it now. We can see the separation. We see you wicked, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans uh, 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 settled on your lease, man. You see? <laughs> we see you. You know? You want to hold on to the ways of Babylon. You don't want to let go of that wacky-tacky Christianity that has done nothing for you but, uh, but, gotten, you a sh but uh, gotten you a bullet in the back. And unjustly uh, incarcerated, man. You see? The book of Ezekiel, chapter 9 and verse 5, and it reads, And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. See, those death angels are not going to have pity if you don't have that the why, man. 
You see, and those spirits are going to be resting on uh, uh, people, <laughs> uh, uh, beasts. You see, the father of spirits controls all things, man. He could put them death angels on a wild beast, man. You see, that's how these things are going to be playing out. Verse 6, slay utterly. Slay utterly. Old and young. Yeah. No respect to person. Both maids and little children and women. And you got maids and women in the same breath showing that you women are going to catch it sevenfold, man. You women are going to catch it bad, man. And it makes sense because you outnumber men. I believe the ratio is seven to one, man. So those, those of you aqua that are in order, all praise to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Because you are, you are a, a, a slim few. You know? But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. What mark? That the Y, man. That mark of exemption from judgment. And begin at my sanctuary. You see? Remember, judgment's going to begin in the house of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. What's that? First Peter 4? In 1617, I believe. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house, see? And we hope and pray to be protected. Those of us, you know, that have turned from, you know, our transgressions, you know, we hope and pray, us Akiyam and Akwaf, you know, hope and pray that we're, you know, we're protected and defended, man. You know? This is why we must continue to fear the Lord because what scripture say? The angels encampeth around those that fear the Lord. And deliver it then, man. You see? And that's what we want. That's, matter of fact, let me close out there. Let me get that real quick. I can't remember where that's at. Bear with me. We'll get it like this, though. Kahala, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. We'll close out here. The book of Psalms, chapter 34 and verse 7, and it reads... The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, with us. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai. Kal Halaliam La Yahawa, Baha Sam Yahawa Shai, Baha Sam Rakak with us. Shalom, Akiyam.